Do you want to know how to create your own logo? Well, if so, then you've come to the right place. My name's Helen and I help women and mothers start and run their own businesses and create financial freedom. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create this professional looking logo in just minutes. This is a real logo that I created for the business Helen's Handmade Designs. And I'm going to put it on my real website. If you just follow along with this video, you'll have your own logo created and downloaded in just a matter of minutes. And the best thing is, it's not going to cost you a cent. For this video, I'm going to be using the free version of Canva. However, you can sign up for their free plan or their pro account if you would like more choices and adaptability. Let's jump straight into the tutorial and get this logo designed. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to canva.com. When we go here, you'll see that it's prompting me to sign in. All you need to do is sign up for an account. You'll see that Canva has a free option that is perfectly good and may well be enough to get you started. However, their pro plan gives you much more different options when it comes to picking icons and different graphics. So you can sign up for a free trial, but the full Canva Pro is only $11.99 anyway, so it may well be worth signing up for Canva Pro. But that's totally up to you. You can sign up with the free plan to get started in order to be able to make this logo. So I'm going to just go and sign in. Now this is our Canva homepage. We're going to want to go to up to the right hand side at the top, create a design. We're going to put in here logo. It doesn't pop up, just type in logo. So this will give us a nice square shape to start our logo with. Now the fictional business that I'm going to create this logo for is called Helen's Homemade Gifts because I'm going to sell my homemade creations as gifts on my website. So you'll see here, you'll automatically see a bunch of different templates that you can start with. So one thing I'd say with creating a logo is don't get tied up in absolutely making it 100% perfect. Don't let perfectionism make you waste too much time creating what you think is absolutely perfect. You can always come in here and change things, change colors, change designs, or completely remake it in a couple of months if you want to. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time playing with some of these. You'll see that some of them are pro, which means you need the pro account for this, but a lot of them are free as well. So it's, like I said, it's up to you whether you want to go for the free account or go for Canva Pro. So what do I like the look of? I'm going to pop in here a bit of a description as to what I'm looking for. So we're looking for homemade gifts. Let's see what it brings up for us. So I like to keep things as simple as possible, but classy. So let's see what we can find. I actually really like this one. Let's give this a go. You can see once I click on that, it will import it into our design. I really like these flowers. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit some of this text by clicking on it. And I actually really like that without having done any more work to it. I really like that design. I'm just going to play about with a few different colors. This would be a, a brown color that I use quite a lot. So I'm going to see what that looks like. So I quite like that. I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to add a page because I'm going to create a couple of other designs to give myself a little bit of selection. Gonna play around with some of this design here. If you ever want to move all of your images together, you can just select them all by dragging across them all and selecting group. Now I can move all of these into the middle of the page and change the size without changing the proportions. Quite like that. I'm not sure about this um, font. Let's see if I can find something. 
Hmm, that's quite cool. Obviously, you want to pick a logo that corresponds to the product that you is, it is you want to sell. So you can see there are some kind of baking ones here. If you were selling cakes or cupcakes or anything like that, these might be appropriate for you. You can type whatever you want in here to try and find something that corresponds to your business. As you can see here, I've got a couple of different designs now that I can go with. I'm just going to make one more so that I can make a my ultimate decision. What I can do is I can try and find within the elements and logo, see if I can find something in here within graphics. Again, if you want to stick with the free one, you absolutely can. Or you can click one of these ones if you decide to sign up for the free pro plan. We want to make sure our logo kind of fills this little section as much as possible because if we download our image in the largest size possible we can always make it smaller but so it's going to be harder to increase the size of our logo down the line because it will start to lose its quality image quality Icon with the right to already. Hmm, yes, I like that. I like these colors a little bit better, a little bit of stronger colors. Now, once you've got a couple of your ideas, then you're ready to download something. So take a little bit of time deciding on the right logo, but don't spend days or weeks deciding on the absolute perfect logo. Let's get this started. So once you're happy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna download our logos. So you can either download one if you have only one here or you can download all of them. When you have Canva Pro it will allow you to download the logo with a transparent background which is really what you want whenever you have a logo. However if you want to go with the free Canva it won't allow you to download it with a transparent background. However there is a free tool called Lunapic which I will show you and that will transform our background into being transparent. So I'm just gonna go with this one and say that I'm going with this one for my decision. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger so that it takes up the full size uh, that I have here. Just get some of this positioning right. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna move that up slightly. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna download this one and we're gonna go with this one for our fictional business. We're gonna go click on share. I'm gonna click download. This is gonna give us the option whether we want to download all of our pages or just this 
this first one, page one. So if you've only created one, it will only give you the one option. We're just going to select page one. Click done. Like I mentioned, transparent background comes with the pro version, but we're not going to use that in this instance. You can, which will save time if you want to go for it with the pro Canva, but I'm going to show you how to make this background transparent without Canva. And we're going to keep it as PNG and download. Save your logo in the appropriate place in your computer. Now that's downloaded, we're going to head over to a website called Lunapic. We're going to click on upload, choose file and choose the logo we just created. And there we have it. What we're going to do is we're going to go to edit right down to the bottom. Transparent background. We're going to click on the image the background that we want to be transparent. We're going to change this to transparent color instead of transparent area. And this will make the whole background transparent. So this will mean that when, no matter what the color of the background that your logo will integrate with your website and other marketing materials easily. I'm going to click on apply. And there's our logo. We just need to go up to file and save image. Make sure you save as a PNG. I'm going to save that just in beside there. But this one time it has a transparent background. So there you have it. We have your brand new logo completed in minutes, ready to go. doesn't like this effect which is a shadow I'm gonna get rid of the shadow I'm gonna change this to none I don't think there's any effect on that one is there there is right I'm gonna get rid of the shadow and we're gonna repeat that process So there you have it, there is your logo ready to go to be used on your website or any other web marketing material that you may have. Guys, if you followed along with this tutorial, I'd love to hear how you got on. I'd love to hear about the types of businesses that you're starting and what are the biggest struggles and hurdles that you face. Watch this next video now, where I take the logo that I just created and I put it on my website and you can see step by step how I create this website in order to be able to sell my products.